Wine was lost in the melody of a soft ballad playing in the background. As she danced a little while, she was focused on chopping vegetables in the cozy kitchen. She twirled around a little, being in a really good mood. Any woman would be having a husband like hers. Sensing a presence, she turned with a smile, only to be enveloped in a tight back hug. She giggled and the man nuzzled his face in the crook of her neck. He probably just returned from office. Jungkook, hey beautiful, miss me? He murmured, his breath tickling her ear. His fingers traced circles on her waist as he planted a kiss on her neck. Wyan, no, nope, I was having a good dancing moment, she teased. Jungkook, too bad, can't have that now. He stayed stick to her, not letting her move freely anymore. She chuckled, loving the warmth that radiated out of his body as she continued to prepare the dinner. Jungkook finally left her, only to help her along with the preparations. Once everything was set, he took a seat while rotating his neck. A few loud cracks were heard before he finally settled down. Jungkook, it's my favorite part of the day, coming back to home to you. Jungkook loved staying in dark. Minimum lights were on, yet it provided the place with aesthetic vibes. Wyatt loved this kind of setting turned a simple moment into those movie-worthy scenes that would remain in her memories forever. She tilted her head, capturing his gaze. Vyan, you seem tired, Cook. Everything alright? Jungkook, yeah. It was a tiring day. I'm fine now that I'm back. She placed the last set of things on table and walked behind his chair, her hands on his shoulders and leaned down, kissing his cheek. Ryan, eat up, then I'll give you a massage. He patted her hand before he kissed it. Jungkook, that's a tempting offer, but sweetheart, I'd rather like you in my arms. She chuckled and settled down, and the two had their dinner in peace, while he told her about her day, and she did the same. Vyan, whoever gave you this hard time, may he trip on a Lego brick, fall off stairs, and end up in hospital, she said as she rolled her eyes while taking a bite of her food. There was one thing one installed in him, the habit of gossiping. Every time they start the talk about someone and did something wrong, she would curse and roll her eyes. Jungkook enjoyed it and ended up picking the habit as well. Jungkook, yeah, so I have to do his work as well? Vyan, why would you do his work? She raised her voice slightly while munching her food in her mouth. The taste be hitting so good. Jungkook, because I'm the team leader and it's my duty to deliver the work on time. Then it doesn't matter who is sick and who is dying. That Baldi doesn't care. Vine wheezed out a laugh and Jungkook realized he just called his boss a Baldi. Just because Vine did that often. He cleared his throat but she continued to laugh pretty satisfied of her achievement.
She cursed at a few more employees in his company. Nancy went more about details. And once the dinner was over, so was the gossip time. night wore on as they found themselves snuggled under the soft, warm blankets of their bed. The room exuded a peaceful atmosphere with the faint glow of the moon filtering through the curtains. Jungkook traced circles on Vine's back as they lay intertwined. She put her hand on his cheek and frowned. Vine, why is your body so hot? Are you okay? Jungkook, I'm completely fine, baby. I'll rest a little and get even better. Vine sat up, propping herself on her elbow. Vine, let me see. She gently placed her hand on his forehead. Vine, you have a fever. She said softly, worry, listing her words. Jungkook. I'm really fine. Come on. But Vine was having none of it. She got up, determined. Vine, wait here. I'll be back. She returned with a damp cloth and a glass of water. Lie down. She instructed her tone gentle yet firm. Zanku compiled watching her with a mix of love and amusement. Vine sat beside him, placing the cool cloth on his forehead, under which he shivered. Vine, you need to rest, she said, brushing his hair back. Jungkook chuckled. Your man is strong. She rolled her eyes yet smiled along at his tries of trying to appear strong. As the night deepened, one stayed by his side, occasionally checking his temperature and offering words of comfort. Their conversation evolved in hushed whispers. After a while, Vine noticed him sleeping peacefully while his hand held on the hem of her shirt, so tightly in his fist. She tried to free herself, but he didn't leave at all, so she placed the bowl and cloths there on the table and laid down beside him. It was almost as if on habitual basis, he wrapped his arms around her body in his sleep and snuggled in with her. The morning sunlight gently streamed through the curtains, casting a warm glow on the bedroom. Vine woke up to find Jungkook already dressed for work, looking determined despite the remnants of exhaustion in his eyes. Vine, good morning, love. She greeted him with a soft smile. Morning, babe. I have an early meeting, so I'll head to the office. Jungkook replied, attempting to hide a yawn. Vine, you sick baby. Come back here. You can't go today. Jungkook, but there's so much work I do at the office. Please, princess, I can't leave any of it. I'll try to come back early. Vine reached out, cupping his face. Vine, if you stay home today, we'll watch a tons of your favorite movies and I won't complain once, I swear.
Jungkook sighed, realizing he couldn't argue with her much. Jungkook, that's a little hard to believe, but okay. Vyan, that's my man. Now, get back in bed. I'll bring you some tea. She grinned and got down the bed. Jungkook again tried to help her in the kitchen. She had to literally push him in the bed and cover him with sheets. Give him a glare or two before going to the kitchen. She gasped when she entered the room and found him with his dumbbells. Vyan, what the hell, Jungkook? Jungkook, I was just putting them back in their place. He appeared as calm as he could with a gentle smile on his lips. And that was the very more reason she was suspicious of him. Vyan, are you a kid? Jungkook, ah, uh, don't know about that, but I am definitely capable of giving you one. She blushed, cleared her throat and glared at him as he took a seat in bed again, pushing his hair back sassily. Wine served him with tea and breakfast and they had it together. She seemed more excited than him. As she took care of him along, he wondered if he wasn't giving her enough time. Just staying beside her for a day that was not planned this way made him realize a lot. Now, as she sat in his arms all snuggled up in their bed, while she laughed at something on the LED. Oh, they ended up watching K-dramas instead of movies. And Jungkook knew there was no way she was giving up on it. Jungkook, if I did that to you, you would die of cringe. Why? Why would you do that to me? Jungkook, you find it funny. He made a not so impressed expression looking at the screen and complaining at every scene passing by, earning glares and slaps from her. Jungkook, instead, let me do it. Fine, no, go away. She instantly moved away, but Jungkook pulled her back and started to mess with her hair while mimicking the baby cringe language. Vyan, I'll kill you, I swear. Go away. He laughed and instantly took her picture with messed up hair, earning more curses from her. After a while, their home was filled in laughter and smiles at a day other than weekend. The once noisy atmosphere then turned into a peace and romance as the two enjoyed their evening together.